I'm Terry with Towers Murray Plumbing, Murray, Utah. Here we're going to show you how to replace the supply line going to your toilet. So the first thing you want to do is shut off your valve, drain the tank. You can use your sponge, some kind of a suction gun. You'll need a crescent wrench and a pair of pliers. Okay, once you've shut the valve off, at that point take your crescent wrench and loosen this bottom lock nut. Once your bottom one's loose, you can remove the top lock nut and your supply line is ready to be removed. Before reinstalling your supply lines, maybe a few things that you might want to look at is the flapper inside of the toilet, make sure it hasn't started deteriorating. Uh, check your ball cock assembly, make sure the ball cock assembly doesn't have any deteriorated washers and everything's still working properly. Check your shutoff valve, make sure the shutoff valve really is shutting off. Other things that you can check out on the toilet is the handle. Make sure your handle is uh, tight and, and is able to still take a flapper. Uh, also, there's a gasket between the tank and the bowl that can be inspected. It's hard to see, but you can wiggle the tank as long as there's not a lot of play. Make sure there's no visual water in between the tank and bowl. When reinstalling this, the best way to do it is start with the top nut. Go ahead and get the top nut on there. Typically with the new supply lines, hand tight is sufficient, and then you'll want to Put the bottom one on, and again with your crescent wrench, tighten that up. And at this point, slowly turn your water back on, check for any leaks, make sure you, you, you have no leaks, and go ahead and flush the toilet. I'm Terry with Towers Murray Plumbing, Murray, Utah, and I've shown you how to replace the supply line on the toilet.